Unit 3. Listening. Exercise 2. Our next story is about a really interesting website which has become incredibly popular. The name of the website is Five Year Plan and the idea of the website is quite clever. Here to tell us more about Five Year Plan is one of the designers, Majid Ali. Hello and welcome, Majid. Thank you. Hello. First of all, Majid, what is a five-year plan? Well, we all have ambitions or goals for the future. Perhaps we'd like to start a business or write a book. But so many of us find we get distracted by day-to-day -day life, work, family commitments. Years pass by and then one day we realize that we still haven't achieved any of our dreams. When you write a five-year plan, you think about what you hope you'll be doing with your life in five years' time, and then you think about how to achieve it. I see. So just writing things down can actually help. Yes. That's the first step, and a very effective one. Research at Melbourne University has shown that the happiest people are the people who have clear goals. Writing a five-year plan helps to make your goals clear to yourself. And how does the website work? The idea is simple. We provide the tools to help you write your plan. You then submit it to the website and receive follow-up emails reminding you of your goals and asking you if you're on track. By submitting a plan to our website, rather than just writing for yourself, you make a commitment. And it's more likely that you'll still be following the plan in one, two or five years' time. It's sort of like a friend or a parent who wants to make sure you stick to your plan. How often do you receive emails? Well, you can choose. The minimum amount of time is every month, and the maximum is every six months. The last email arrives at the end of five years. Let's see if I've got this right. You can write a five-year plan for your future today and receive follow-up emails just one month later. That's right. In fact, 56% of the people who write their plans choose to receive follow-up emails every month, and 5% choose every six months. How many people have written their five-year plan? More than half a million people already, in just five years. That's a lot of people. What do people usually write in their plans? Well... It's important to make both long- and short-term plans. We encourage people to write clear, achievable goals for the first year. And so, people hope that by the time they receive their first email, they will have found a job, or that they'll have passed an exam. In the longer term, a lot of people hope that by the end of five years, they'll have been on Hajj, or that they'll be working for themselves. Many of the plans are about career goals. The most frequent words that appear in the plans are career, family, parents, money and health. That gives you an idea of what people are thinking about when planning for their future. So, are all the plans public? No. You can choose to keep your plan private or make it public so people can read it. You can also choose to change your plan after a year if your ambitions have changed. It's important to be ready to change your plan, for example, if it just isn't working. Do you have any other advice for somebody who wants to write a five-year plan? Yes, two things. It's important to make positive plans rather than negative ones. People who write negative goals, such as, I need to give up smoking so that I'm not so unhealthy, feel less happy 
and more anxious than those who think more positively, and instead write something like, I plan to go to the gym most days so that I can be healthy and active. And the second piece of advice I would give is think big. Use your imagination and ask yourself, if I could do anything I wanted with my life, what would I most like to do? If it doesn't work out, you can always change your plan later. But at least you know you've tried. Majid, thanks for telling us about Five Year Plan. Thank you.